welcome Libras. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the love energy vibration reading for the Libra Sun Moon Horizon sign. Remember, um, for the extended reading, you have to connect to my um channel and then you can pick up all the extended readings. Okay, so um last month I had to do one pieces because I had so much readings to do last month. So remember, you can still order your um, um, year reading and your birthday reading. So I'm still holding the year reading out until the 31st of October. So you can still order your year reading. OK, so let's see what coming up for you, Librans. I see long distance relationships are going to be affecting some of you. I see short term relationship is coming up. Oh, I see a lot of you connecting via text, a lot of text communication. I see um, open relationship is happening here. I see you ladies, um, you blonde, readier ladies. Could be you Caucasian, could be having long distance relationship. I see that's a karmatic relationship, but it's going to be short term. You could have met someone on vacation. I see a lot of text communication. I see soulmate is coming up. So open relationship. People could be finding out that there are a soulmate. A lot of gossip is going to be in this month, you liberant. So be aware of what is transpiring. There is too much gossip. And as I said, ladies and gentlemen, keep your personal things to yourself because people only use it against you. So um, be aware of that. So what I'm seeing transpiring is that um, this month is um, the effect is up uh, um, Caucasian blue eye green eyes um, that sort of um, blonde ladies and the effect is on you guys um, and this is issues and situation um, where you are having short-term long-distance relationships so you know someone um, overseas or in another city there's a lot of gossip that is going on, so be aware of that. Short-term relationship communications are here, but karmatic relationships are at play, and money is the effect is an effect in your relationship. Some of you are in soulmate relationship, and money um, is affecting your relationship. I see um, release your ex came up with money. And as you release your ex, let's say that um, you were just in a relationship or you married to someone um, for financial help. I see as you release this person, your soulmate is definitely going to be coming in. So you're coming in with release the ex. So some of you are still holding on to the ex. It is time to release this person. Whoever this person is, the universe is letting you know that it's time to release this person. So... Um, it could be you um, ladies um, that you're coming in still holding on a relationship. Some of you have met someone overseas or long distance or in another country or in another city. And um, it was a short connection, um, but you're still thinking about this person. It was a very short connection, um, but you're still thinking about this person and you're wondering is this the, the, the person everything happens in divine time it is as if it was a short vacation you went someplace you met someone I see marriage is coming up for you blonde ladies I see marriage is coming up and I see some of you um, blonde ladies that is being married I see it is a karmatic marriage because you have known this person in past lifetime okay um, True love is here for you guys. Um, this is a romance that some of you have been waiting on. So this is really, really wonderful because what is transpiring and what is happening, as I can see, is that um, some of you are holding on to your ex and you need to let go of the ex so that this new love can come in. Some of you have been hoping, wishing and dreaming and looking forward to meet someone. And, I, and it is time because you're going to be meeting someone who um you know it was really truly worth waiting for everything happens in the divine time and, and you're going to be realizing that this is true love this is the love that you have been waiting for so you blonde ladies 
could be getting married to this person that you're meeting so um that is wonderful it is a karmatic relationship some of you need to give your relationship a chance some of you are um you know speaking with your friends telling your friends the problem situation and i think you need to speak to your partner instead of your your friends and give your relationship a chance because whatever is transpiring i see a short break is coming in relationships but it's as if you're so if you give light to something it attracts more so if you keep on complaining about your partner that is what is going to attract I see some of you really get him married and going um, away for weekends and you know this is the true love that you have been waiting for and I, I see a lot of connections you're doing these weekend getaway um, you or going by their place they're going by you you're texting each other in the morning that sort of a situation is going in i see some of you are definitely going to be meeting someone who is financial stable and this person is going to give you the best life ever very soon clearly decide what you want so that it will come to you and i see some of you are not deciding clearly because you know you can say oh i want this i want this but if you change so i see that some of you um wants to get to know someone who is financially stable i think some of you think oh my god i've been with all these losers without money it's time that i meet someone who is financial stable because i'm always the one who is carrying the weight this could be the one <laughs> you are ready okay um a romantic partner is coming in it's as if you have been seeing this person you have an open relationship with this person then all of a sudden you're going to be realize that this is actually the one and i see you could be texting back and forth with a person or you could be texting your friends and speaking about the person and then you're going to realize oh my god this could be the one yes so i see engagement is coming up your life is um ascending to a higher level of commitment so this is beautiful this is really beautiful so engagements are definitely coming up um it's as if some of you were seeing someone and then through the christmas you really just realize that this is the one for you and i i see engagement coming up in the month of february so this is good and um some of you are meeting your soulmate and um your soulmate you're going to be getting engaged to your soulmate so like people who are already in relationship with soulmate and you know it's your soulmate engagement is going to be coming up um, i see some of you great love is work um taking the step you're guided to take so um some of you are guided to to, to take some steps especially you singles okay um to take some step as if you know whether online dating go and see um connect with other people you know see what is out there and i think it's a time to manifest okay manifest this new love i see some of you really are going to be meeting someone with money okay so um it could be a married man um to be honest it could be a married man that some of you are going to be meeting soon but this person is financial stable and um some of you are going to be meeting your true love okay um it is you know meeting your true love honeymoon engagement is coming up so that is really something soulmate is here twice for you guys so you liberals are really going to be meeting your soulmate in um the month of january um definitely um soulmate twice is here for you liberals all right so a lot of you have been gossiping okay your love life is being affected some of you your love life is being affected by kids and how is because um you are so busy with the kids that you have you're so tired um you're really really so tired um when it comes on 
um, to Evelyn okay so there's a message here for someone out there make the effort okay make the effort to connect all right so um, definitely what is happening is that some of you even though you're so busy make the effort to connect all right because this is going to be very important to heal your love life definitely i see um i see with 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 the energy of soulmate some of you were wondering if someone you're seeing is your soulmate i see you're leaving the month and a lot of you are going to be meeting your soulmate this is just so good some of you some of you were in a open relationship and i see this person is going to ask you um to take the next step with them you were in an open relationship and i see this person is going to ask you to take the next step with them a lot of you are looking for a new start and a new relationship a lot of you um some of you could be in a relationship some of you are not in a relationship some of you are turning your back to and Aries and you're looking for a new start okay um some of you ladies um, um you need to release the Taurus whoever is in um the Taurus is an ex you need to release this person okay because they have moved on and they are got married some of you have got married but still holding on your ex you need to release this person otherwise your relationship is not going to be working out I see some of you are trying to find inner strength because it's as if you're waiting, waiting, waiting. Some of you have met someone and the um the passion and the connection was so powerful, but it ended. And it it, it have you thinking, was this the person for me? Okay. Some of you are trying uh, to lose the ex, and it's very hard. Okay. Some of you are really trying to lose the ex, but it's very hard. I see some of you um, have been thinking about returning to someone or some place to see someone you have met. You have met this person for quite a short period, but whatever has connected between you and this person, you want to um, re-see this person. You men between the ages of... Um, 35 and 50 are going to be um, finding the love of your life but you it's as if you found the love of your life you get married but you're still thinking about the Taurus your ex so be aware of that so a lot of you need to give your relationship a chance because it's going to be coming financial stability. So give your relationship a chance. And if you give your relationship a chance, I see you and your partner going on these weekend vacation, long vacation, enjoying yourself. So just um, give your relationship a chance. Some of you, because um, your partner is not financial stability, you want to leave the relationship. And your angels and guides are saying, give the relationship a chance. So some of you are going to be meeting a um, Gemini. And uh, uh, this person is financial stable. This is someone you have known from a, a past lifetime. And this person is going to be returning in your life. This person, as usual, this person is financial stable. And this person is going to want to, you know, like, treat you very very nicely okay some secrets is um that was old some secrets was old and what is transpiring is that i see true love is coming in and this person is going to show you a time of a lifetime but this person also have some secrets so be aware of it this person also have some secrets some of you could be dealing with a cancer and this cancer is only in the relationship for money this issue has been coming up i see a towel moment that is coming in there is definitely a towel moment that is coming in um a towel moment is coming in with people who are married okay so 
um, there could be just like your marriage just end abruptly without even knowing I see a message is coming in from a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and whoever this person is um, it's as if they want a new start okay so this person is going to be letting you know that they want a new start what this person is and it's coming up they they want to let you know you know they really want the new start you know you're the one that they have been waiting for I see some of you dealing with a cancer um, there's a lot of uh, texting back and forth and um, you know this person wants you to give the relationship another chance and you're like oh, no it's okay don't 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 get back if you end something just end it leave it as it is then I see that some of you who were in an open relationship um, with a, a Virgo you are going to be definitely returning to this person and you're going to be some of you have met a Virgo you were seeing this Virgo um, you know now and again but whenever you guys connect this person is really meant for you some of you were asking yourself is this the one yes and you're going to be getting engaged to this Virgo this Virgo has uh, I've been in love with you ever since you met I see um, some of you have some um, some of you um, have some um, issue with a Gemini okay and it has to do with financial stability so I see some of you having um, some of you should be getting married and going on your honeymoon and it has to do with a, a Gemini um, but it's gonna be okay you know it's it's really going to be okay okay so um, some of you who are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn make the effort to communicate how you feel because I see some of you are really connecting with the hurt side people so you need to communicate or this person is not communicating so it could be that this person you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person they're not really communicating and it's as if they they're not making the effort to, to communicate with you so um, that is really playing out okay so I see the energy of the nine of Pentacles and this energy is always that um, some of you are not really happy in the relationship that you're in at this moment and it could do with someone who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn because they're not making that effort and I think some of you are going to be giving up some of you are going to be meeting your twin flame or soulmate and um, this person you're definitely going to be meeting your twin flame and soulmate and it is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, 50 years and older yes it is uh, um, a soulmate relationship I see some of you are going to be engaging getting engaged to this person this person is uh, could be holding and um, you are and you're going to be getting engaged to this person I see a soulmate sort of a you guys are definitely soulmate I see you're going to be working on the relationship with this Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay I see a lot of you are going to be connecting and finding your twin flame and soulmate so that's beautiful I love you Librans for the extended of this reading please check out the link below please like share 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 these reading um, leave your message it's um, it's it's all about releasing the X and this month is the month that you're going to be meeting your twin flame and soulmate I love you guys namaste until next time Thank you.